One of the reasons why I'm studying teaching is because of my own high school experience. I would say overall I had a positive one. However, there were times where I got into a lot of trouble. I had many friends, but I wasn't the ideal student, I would say. That is why I wanted to come back. I don't know, high school for me, so I was a pretty um, I was a pretty quiet kid, actually. I didn't have a lot of confidence. Um, but then I went to Hallam for VCE and I picked up a couple of subjects. So I picked up drama and I picked up theatre studies. And it's probably the best thing I ever did. One of the reasons why I'm committed to educating young people in this community is that my own experiences of school, particularly secondary school, were not great. I loved primary school. Um, really got a lot out of it, found I could think and be curious and, and share ideas and present them in ways that were exciting. And then I got to secondary school and it suddenly felt like um, I didn't count. It suddenly felt as if um, no one was really interested in what I thought about things. And every time you wanted to express what you thought, it had to be done through some, you know, a set essay or a set piece of work. Um, and there's a need for that, I know, but we need, to, we need to do better in schools to build the curiosity of young people. We need to do more to meet the needs of individual students. This is high school. I loved high school. I actually ran home crying the first day I was there because I only had another six years to go. So I was a bit wrong. I had actually eight years to go. I, most people think that um, teachers have had an easy run and that they're smart and they bring through things easily. It wasn't true. I repeated year 11 and I repeated year 12 for various reasons. So yeah. Half of the teacher, what is it? Okay, so I'm glad I'm not this person's English teacher. Half the teachers don't work hard enough for their money. <laughs> you might think that, but believe me, teachers work incredibly hard. Yeah, stop your whining. Maybe you should do some more work. Yeah, shut up. I'm an 18 year old in year 12 and when I get home I like to put on a diaper on to feel like a baby again. Do what suits you. There's no issue if just don't do it in public I guess. You do you boo. I don't know what to tell you. How much are adult diapers? Cloth or um, disposable? That's a thing. have mild autism. Sweetie, who hasn't? Welcome to my family. <laughs> my son has Asperger's, which is a form of autism. My daughter and family also think I have autism. They think I have Asperger's as well. I do illegal drugs. Probably shouldn't be. That's why they're illegal. Although it does raise interesting questions about why some drugs are illegal at one point in time and others are considered legal. I don't know how to swim. Well, it sucks to be you. Hey, this is, I, this is great for an Englishman. Most, most people in England don't learn to swim. Yeah? Who lives in Australia and doesn't know how to swim? What are you doing? And as an Englishman, yeah, I know how this feels. I didn't learn to swim until I came to Australia. Um, basically, you're going to have to learn. It's not you, is it, Evan? Do you know how to swim? Do you know how to swim? Yeah. Good. Get your act together, I would say. Next. I'm very stressed with things in life that people do not understand. However, I do not share my feelings with everyone as I know they'll be scared of what I'll become. People think I'm therapy, the therapy friend. They think I'm happy, stress-free, but despite the negative memories I have, the struggles I go through, no one will know what is going on. I believe I'm not good enough. I have been too broken in my life to the point where I'm a cold person, but hope best for others. I don't, I'd say don't let any experience make you a cold person, that you have the power to choose how you'll react to things and you're never too broken to be whole again. Remember there's a poem by an Afghan poet, 
roomy. And he says, the wound is where the light enters. So, you know, get your broken pieces and you'll be whole again because that's where the light comes and don't be a cold person because of you're afraid that you'll be hurt again. So what? Be hurt again. That's part of life. It's part of the love and the happiness. Let's hope this one's different. This one says, I thought Suicide Squad was a good movie the first time I watched it. I've never watched Suicide Squad. I have no idea what it's like. You've got bad taste and you don't know nothing about movies. And and this look, this this the first, you watched it more than once. You watched Suicide Squad more than once. I don't think I finished it the first time. I'd be interested to talk to this person about why they thought it was a good movie. Um, I have watched 13 Reasons Why, all, all seasons. I don't know if that's even similar or like it because it shows, I've had friends suicide, so um, it shows the effect that that had. Like the first one was all about her saying this is what you did. Yeah. Five minutes later. Yeah, but he didn't do terrible stuff. He did stuff to help his friends. He didn't kill the guy. Um, he, uh, who killed uh, Bryce? I once put a packet of popcorn in the microwave and accidentally left the plastic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you're an idiot. You guys need to educate students about deodorant. So clearly some students have a bit of a B.O. problem. One was growing the dad bod before he had a kid. <laughs> uh, 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 you reckon? Like, he, you reckon he had a dad bod before the kid? He's a lot fitter than me. He does like triathlons. He wrote a big, this long email, right? And he sent it to every teacher in the school. He's like, hey, I'm running this marathon. Here's all the details. I thought, oh, that's interesting. Um, maybe he's like raising money for charity, okay? Here's the link to, to put some money. No, no, it was just about him running a marathon. So I wrote an email back about how I was doing a TV marathon that I was gonna watch all of like Breaking Bad and, and if you wanna see me um, finish this season at this time, um, you know, come see me then. And I sent it to every teacher as well. It's one of the greatest things I've ever done. I got Mr. Young a Red Bull once and he ignored the fact that I was 30 minutes late to class. Uh -huh. That's smart, do it more often with all the teachers. Actually, you know, I never gave anyone anything, but I remember I didn't want to go to a class and I made the teacher's life so difficult that he started actually signing me out pre every class and I'll just do whatever I wanted. So it was legal wagging. So, you know, if you can get away with it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know, 10 year old me, what year, what year level's that? Okay, well originally I wanted to be a zoologist or a vet back when I was 10. 10 year old me was a dreamer. Um, I dreamt of being all sorts of things like you do at 10. Um, I never dreamt I'd be a principal. Um, I'm not sure anyone actually does. Um, am I happy where I am in life? Very much. Uh, I think I'm, I'm doing the work that I should be doing at this age and contributing. I wanted to be a, probably wanted to be a, uh, maybe a scientist or an inventor or an explorer. Um, I was a particularly confident kid. So I think looking now and seeing the things that I've been through and where I've come from, and that 10 year old would look at me and go, oh wow, look what you've got, look what you've done, look how you are, look who you are. And Thank you, we've done okay. Just before the whole chaos of coronavirus, I went to something and it directed me to really reflect on who I am and get to the foundation of, uh, yes, 10 year old would be proud of me, not because I've gained anything material, um, you know, or I'm still studying, I'm, you know, I'm still working minimum wage, but because of how I feel internally. I'm at peace and I take out of me because I am proud of me now and sorry. I was mid confession and it was oh, deep. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> We're gonna cry, but now. Oh, <laughs> <ruin it. laughs>